Hey friends, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. So I'm not gonna have enough time or enough daylight to film an intro at home. So I just pulled over in a parking lot to film a quick intro. So today I'm sharing with you guys the new Orly Spring Collection. I love this collection and I'm so excited for these colors. There's a lot of shimmer here. So if you're not the biggest fan of shimmer, just watch these polishes apply themselves and I guarantee you'll be a fan of shimmer. <laughs> if not, leave a comment down below. These polishes were sent to be compliments of Orly, so thank you, Orly. Now, without further ado, let's get right into these absolute freaking stunners. All right, you guys, so the card that I received with this collection says, float along golden waves with six new shades inspired by gentle waters. And so first up here, we have Sea Spray. Sea Spray is described as a white Copper shimmer with a golden glow inspired by the fresh mist of salt water on your skin. And this polish is absolutely stunning. This is a gorgeous shimmer that applies so, so well. I feel like this collection has the best shimmers that Orly has ever released, in my opinion. These are so, so good. This is a two to three coater. So I did two coats here in the live swatch, but I did do three coats in my swatch photo and I feel like three coats was perfect for this shade. They were easy coats to apply. They dried quickly and I absolutely love the shade. Here you can see how the polish looks in different lighting. I don't have outdoor lighting because I haven't had any daylight to take photos outdoors with. So I have indoors and in no special lighting here and indoors under studio lighting. Getting right into comparisons, here we have Essie Sweet Souffle and that's a polish I actually first thought of when I saw this one. So Essie Sweet Souffle, Essie Get Oasis and then Essie All Daisy Long so you can see how those compare. Okay, next up is Golden Waves. This is described as a golden copper shimmer like the ocean during sunrise. And I don't know about you, but this collection kind of reminds me more of a summer collection with the beachy vibes and everything. But either way, I'm still loving it. I know some places, like my daughter lives in Charleston, South Carolina, and it's going to be pretty beachy weather there for springtime. So it just kind of depends on where you live. And really, you can't go wrong with a beachy theme. I always love beachy themed anything. So getting back to this polish, this is Golden Waves. It's an easy, easy two coater. This is the color that looks terrible with my skin tone, so I'm not a huge fan of this. But you guys, if you have the right skin tone for this polish, it is going to literally glow on your nails. Here you can see the polish in different lighting. So indoors with no special lighting and it's basically glowing under the ceiling lights in my kitchen and then you can see how it looks in studio lighting and comparisons i pulled out se homegrown se jockature sunrush metal and se reach new heights so you can see how all of those compare they're all very very similar but i wouldn't say they are dupes Okay, next up is one of my faves from this collection. This is another shimmer. This is Wistful Water Lily, described as a light pink pearl shimmer inspired by the beauty of nature's petals. So I guess this polish isn't necessarily beachy themed. It's just spring themed. And this one I put heart, heart, heart next to because I love this one. This was an easy, easy polish to apply. This one was a two to three coater. I did two coats here in the live swatch and two coats in the swatch photo. You guys here, you can see how it looks in different lighting. So indoor lighting with no special lighting and then under studio lights. And it is gorgeous no matter what. This is another one that glows on your nails. And I love shades like this. Getting right into comparisons. Here we have Essie Wet Suited Up. Was not similar at all. Essie Kiss by Miss and then Essie Pretty in Pink. And then I pulled out Essie Polarizing just so that you can see how that looks next to Wistful Water Lily and you can see no dupes there. Okay, and another absolutely gorgeous polish. This is Sea Blossom. Sea Blossom is technically the only cream from the collection. The card actually says that Morning Dew and Ripple Effect are flips. 
So we have two flips, a cream, and three shimmers. I have no idea what flip means. <laughs> Let me know if you guys know what flip means. So Sea Blossom is described as a cool pink cream as soft as the petals floating downstream. So another one that's not necessarily like beachy inspired. This is definitely like flowery spring inspired. So I'm loving that. And I'm loving how cool this pink polish is. It's so cool tone that it's almost leans purple. And I didn't realize that until I started comparing it to pink. So stay tuned for comparison. You can see it here in regular lighting inside my home and then under studio lighting and getting right into comparisons. Here we have Essie Fiji China Glaze here for the candy and China Glaze Totally Taffy from the Wonka collection. Moving right along, we have Orly Taffy to be here. Essie Note to Elf from their new Light and Fairy collection. If you guys haven't checked out my review on that collection, make sure you check it out. I love those beauties. And then Essie Free to Roam, so you can see how those compare. Next up, we have Lavender to Find Courage by OPI. Essie Run Wildflower and Essie in the Universe, so you can see how all of those compare. All right, let's get into the two flip shades, whatever that means. <laughs> this is Ripple Effect. This is described as a periwinkle shimmer inspired by the movement of water when taps break the surface. This one is totally opaque in two coats. Again, super easy to apply and another one that I think you guys are going to want. Here you can see how the polish looks in different lighting. So we have it here indoors with no special lighting under my studio lighting, and then getting right into comparisons. Here you can see how it compares to Essie Don't Burst My Bubble, Essie Ripple Reflect, which sometimes it makes me laugh how different companies will kind of use the same name for the same tone of polish. So Ripple Effect and Ripple Reflect just seems kind of interesting. <laughs> and then here you can see Essie You Do Blue. Moving right along, here we have it compared to Essie Preta Surfer, Orly Off the Grid, and OPI Charge It to the Room, so you can see how those compare. All right, and last but not least is Morning Dew. And this is my 100% absolute fave from this collection. I think this is an absolute stunner. Morning Dew is a light teal shimmer polish and this one dries kind of like matte, satin matte, and it also glows on your nail. This one is just so, so pretty. You will want to do thin coats for this polish and really for most of the shimmers, you will want to do thin coats. I'm swatching this in two coats in the live swatch. I did thin coat for the first coat and then I built it up a little bit thicker on that second coat and it was absolutely gorgeous. Some of you may need a third coat. I technically feel like after watching this, I could have used a third coat. You can see some patchiness on this, but again, it's so worth that third coat. If you guys say you don't wanna do three coats, I'm sorry, but this polish is worth it. <laughs> Here you can see how the polish looks in different lighting and just look how it glows on the nails. It's freaking stunning. And yeah, so I did need a third coat for sure. You can see the two coats here on my middle finger. It just, it's just not enough. So definitely three coats. Here you can see how it looks next to Orly Close Call, Orly Vintage, and then Essie All Tie Dyed Up. And then next I show you how it compares to Orly Breathable. Give it a swirl so you can see how those compare. All right guys, so what did you think of this collection? Let me know in the comments down below and then stay tuned for more polishes. I'm going to have OPI Spring coming up. I'm going to have the OPI Infinite Shine collection coming up. I've got Morgan Taylor Spring coming up. So a lot of fun, new, exciting, polishes for spring so stay tuned all right guys hope you have an absolutely fabulous morning afternoon evening whatever it is make it great all right love you guys bye